Hey art gang, are you ready for prompt time? So remember the rules, there are no rules. Just use the prompts any way that feels right for you to help you just flow through your art piece and get you creating. And you don't have to do the same as me at all. Just use this time to explore and experiment and play and we can do some art together. So prompt number one, let's jump straight on in. It's pick a color. You can see that I've gone with blue and I'm just adding that loosely and splodging it around my page because prompt two is going to come up pretty quick. It's pretty much like a part B to prompt one and that is to turn it light. So you can do this by just adding some white paint like I've done or maybe you've added gesso to it or you can even water it down to give you a loose glaze of colour. And I'm just really carrying on with my splodging for this one. Right, old favourite of ours, and that's a bit of mop making. For the first couple of prompts I was using my three quarter flat brush, but I've now swapped on to my size 8 round brush, bush? <laughs> brush for this one, and gone with a completely different colour. I also let the previous layers dry before I moved on to this new colour. But how about you? How have you interpreted this prompt? You can keep on using the same brush or maybe your marks are something else like ink or pencil, maybe even some stamping. But don't overthink it, just go for it. Oh, I love these really nebulous prompts, don't you? <laughs> right, well I'm changing this up with a different colour and I've also gone with a different brush size to give myself some different marks, just make them slightly smaller. but they'll coordinate with those last marks that I made. I've really been enjoying this layered mark making of similar marks. But you know, change it up could take you somewhere else completely. You could go maybe down the collage route or drawing, all sorts of different things. So don't feel stuck doing the same as I'm doing. And that's the whole fun of it, right? Do you remember the video where I pulled prompts from a bowl? If you haven't seen that one, go and watch it after you've finished this one. I was thinking that I'd do that one again because that was such fun to do. Just haven't had the time to do it yet. Maybe I'll even get around to streaming it one day. I don't know. <gasps> Something to perhaps look out for <laughs> if we're lucky. Right, I'm going to move on to my prompt number five, which is smushing more colour. So if you've been doing lots of doodling on your layers maybe, this might be a good opportunity to get some more colour down. But if you've been doing like I've been doing and just layering up lots of colour, then another opportunity to layer another colour. As I have got quite a lot of colour down here, I'm just going to go for something slightly different and break up that blue a little bit more. And I like to smush the paper across the page with sweeping circles and gestures of my brush, but how you put your paint on, it can be any way you want, so just have fun playing around with your brush marks and the way you put the paint on the page. So I'm in my junk journal, which for those of you who don't know is an old event flyer. I've just repurposed it into an art journal. And you can use anything you have, so pick up an art journal, some paper, junk journal, even a newspaper, something you've hopefully already read, <laughs> and just use what you're happy with. Now this piece has actually been resting overnight, and you can probably tell because we went from one way the colour was looking to suddenly changing and that's because all the previous footage was under my studio lights and now we're filming in daylight. When I came back to this piece the following day I decided that it actually needed something dramatic. Or maybe I should rephrase that, I needed something dramatic just to get this piece rolling again. So for my drama I used primary magenta and that has the added benefit of being a transparent paint so you can see it changes colour depending on what colour was underneath it. 
Now it's around about here that I decided that this page is going to have a focal image and the focal image is going to be one of my favourite abstract flower designs and actually this is available on my Patreon in my Digi Delightfuls or for my Video Fanatics tiers, either one of those tiers. And kind of what jumped out for me was the, the colours, I thought the colours would work really well together. So this prompt is really, for me, about bringing the background and the focal image together. Now that I've decided that that's the way I'm going to go with it. And the lines are really strong in that flower, it's part of the style of it. So I kind of need something in the background that will resonate with that flower. And the way I'm going to do this is to use a black paint pen and just go around some of the mark making that's already here. So basically I'm highlighting those marks a little bit more, making them more of a feature. And it will just be a nice pattern sort of flowing across the page and sitting right behind that collage focal image. So that's how I've interpreted this particular prompt. But highlighting details could be doing things like doing some drawing or adding some words. Or maybe you've already got a focal image or something that's coming through as a potential focal image on your page and you just want to bring it out a bit more, really make a feature of it. And you could do this by maybe putting some paint around it, get it to pop off the background. So I'd be interested to see what you actually do with yours and where it takes you. So if you share it on social media, do tag me in and I would love to come over and have a nosy. Easiest way to do that is either on Instagram where you can tag me in or if you're one of my patrons do share it in the group community board as well because I really love to see where, where these prompts take you and what kind of art comes out of it for you. And a huge thank you to everyone who has been sharing their work with me. I've absolutely loved seeing it. So great to see all of the creativity. I think that's what I like most about these kind of things because how I interpret a prompt can be totally different to how you interpret it and that's one of the greatest things about how we all work with our art and we all learn so much from each other by doing this. Okay, so we still have prompts to go and this one is final touches. <laughs> so. What do your final touches look like? For me, uh, this is more about getting the round flower stuck in place and the leaves. I've kind of done it as a, a layered cluster. Both the leaf and the two little flowers are in the September 2020 art pack if you're already one of my patrons and you're looking for it. But what did you do for this final touch prompt? Perhaps it's adding a focal image like I did or maybe just adding some texture or something big, something small. Sometimes you just don't know until you look at the page and where it's kind of gone <laughs> and you, you have that feeling of what it needs to finish it off. I stuck my collage pieces down with golden regular gel, the gloss version, and I just keep it in this handy little bottle for those of you who've been asking me about it. Using acrylic medium as glue is great because you can trust it, it's archival, and great at sticking things in places for a very long time. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing where these prompts took you. I hope you had fun with them. I hope you had fun exploring your art and playing along with me. I've got more videos to keep you creative here. So watch those next and I will see you over there.